India Romeo Zero, India Sierra Sierra, this is India Kilo One, Sierra Lima Delta, Telebridge Ground Station calling for a scheduled Aris contact. Uh, do you copy, Nick? Uh, over. India Romeo Zero, India Sierra Sierra, this is India Kilo One, Sugar Lima Delta, Telebridge Ground Station calling for a scheduled Aris contact. Uh, do you copy, Nick? Uh, over. Okay, India Romeo Zero, India Sierra Sierra, IK1 SLD. Good morning to you, Nick. Uh, your signal is uh, again uh, loud and clear. Today from Italy, uh, we introduced the Loreto College in Adelaide, Australia. So are you ready? I'm ready for questions. Good morning, everyone, or good evening in Australia. Over. Good morning, everyone, or good evening in Australia. Over. Okay, go ahead, uh, Isabella. Thanks, Claudia. Hi, my name is Isabella. As this is the year we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, has the moon any more significance to you? You know, Isabella, looking at the moon uh, at, from the ground, uh, it's always captivated me. It's a symbol of, of what is out there, what we uh, strive to explore, you know, the unknown and discovering new things. I can tell you that from orbit, uh, it takes on an even more significant meaning. Uh, the perspective that you get looking out the window, uh, being able to see the Earth below you and then the moon in the distance all at the same time and feeling like you are off of the planet and on our way along that journey of discovery, uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it carries even more significance now. Over. we didn't step in, we floated into the station, and so it was one of the first few minutes I had of uh, being out of my seat and floating uh, in microgravity, and uh, it was a sense of accomplishment, uh, it was a sense of, uh, of gratitude for all the people that make uh, being up here possible. Uh, it's not an easy journey, uh, and you may be familiar with my journey and uh, our aborted launch that happened six months before, uh, but like most things in life that are truly worthwhile, uh, it's worth all of the commitment and hard work. Over. Gabrielle, on life on the ISS is, is truly amazing. Um, one of the significant challenges of being up here is being away from uh, loved ones, family and friends and, and all the people that you have to leave back on Earth. Uh, my experience in, in the Air Force uh, doing, during, doing deployments uh, has taught me that, you know, for me, four to six months is uh, the right amount of time that you can be away from the family and, and it makes coming back home and reintegrating with your family an easier process. When you start to spend longer periods of time away from family and friends, then it, it requires a lot more effort and, and we have to pay special attention to that in terms of reintegrating post-mission. Over. One word answer, absolutely. You know, that's why we're up here is to explore, and we want to continue to push deeper into the mysteries of the universe. So, uh, you know, now we're testing out systems on board the International Space Station that are going to help us go back to the moon. Uh, and that's part of the Artemis program. And once we get to the moon, we're going to learn things there that are going to help us get to Mars. And so that's the ultimate objective, putting people on Mars. It's over. Samantha, the view from space definitely changes your perspective on where you fit into the cosmos. When you look down at the ground, you can see that you know the Earth is gigantic, and, and we're a small part of it. But you can also see that the Earth is teeming with life. It's alive. It's everything around us, we're part of that one 
uh, amazing place that's living and breathing. And so I see our place more connected with Earth than I ever have before. And uh, it makes me uh, it makes me realize that we need to be great stewards of our planet. Over.
question, Natalie. Uh, we have one minute to lose. Hi, my name is Natalie. What do you do with the I love to look out the window to appreciate the earth below. I like to spend time with my friends on board the space station, my crewmates. One of the most miraculous aspects of the International Space Station is that we have an international crew and getting to know people from other countries and cultures and their customs and to spend time with them and get to know them as, as, uh, as individuals and human beings and, and just as individuals. Uh, it's a special time up here when we can gather around the dinner table and share stories and laugh. Here when we can gather around the dinner table and share stories and laugh We have uh, lots of signal in this moment, uh, uh, Tony. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you there, Claudio. Very good job. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just shared a moment of history. Amateur radio station IK1 SLD, operated by Claudio Ariotti and his team, contacted astronaut Nick 